It feels like it's a huge privilege to come here. Flint Ridge Sacred Heart is my second home. I felt accepted the moment I got here. This is a good place for girls to find their voice just because it's so open and it's so accepting. We definitely become our own family on the hill. Flintridge Sacred Heart Academy, a Catholic Dominican college preparatory school, educates young women for a life of faith, integrity, and truth. It was originally a hotel, but the sisters purchased the property in 1931, and the sisters say it was the best deal they ever made. My daughter Catherine is a senior graduating from Flinter Sacred Heart. Our second daughter will be starting up on the hill in August. The girls are so ready for the next chapter of their life, and it's because of Flinter Sacred Heart. They're in a safe environment where they can take risks and ask questions and challenge themselves. You can really tell that the faculty here, they love what they're doing and they really do care about us. They're just great people that I'd rather call friends than teachers, like mentors. <laughs> All the students know that Mr. Bernstein's AP English class oh, is yeah. this <laughs> super hard class that everybody freaks out about. I came to him and I was like, what can I do? And he said, you can come to me before school every day. And that was so amazing that he, he took the time to really help me when I needed help. The girls inspire the faculty to want to be better teachers. He does. He's very aware of Nick. He does. He's always out on that dock looking out across the sound. In a flipped classroom, the lecture is all done on a video that the teacher has pre-recorded. The students watch the video, take their notes at home. They can do so at their own pace. The benefit of the flipped classroom is when they come back to class because then we have that whole class period to work on problems. Because that's the only one that's crossing the equals, right? Oh, so like none of this would change, only the one that you add in? Correct. We have a one-to-one -one laptop program. When the students open up their computers, we have uh, tablets that they can write on. It's not just like going home studying a textbook. We're a college preparatory school. We have two full-time college counselors. The college application process is, is never easy for anyone. With the teacher's help, you have all the support you need up here. I will be attending the University of Washington in Seattle. I'm going to New York University. And I'm gonna be going to UC Santa Barbara for chemical engineering. We have at least 18 different kinds of sporting events that our girls can be involved in. Well, I knew that joining a team would be a really good way to make friends. I'm involved with cross country. I play tennis. I play volleyball this year. I joined the swimming team. We have a very sophisticated visual and performing arts program as well. I'm on the dance company. I never knew that I was going to be involved with comedy sports, which is our improv comedy team. I'm also involved in varsity club and multicultural club. As the treasurer, I'm responsible for all the funds involved with the clubs. We want them to be women that have a spiritual depth. We're very proud of our Catholic roots. However, we are a boarding school. We are a Dominican high school, which means that our doors are open to girls of any and all religious traditions. I think all we ask of the girls is to have an open mind in studying about religion. And I believe more than just teaching about religions and learning about religions, the girls also realize and understand that basically we're all one. The juniors spend three nights and four days in Catalina in an eco-spirituality retreat. We did a lot of fun stuff like we go scuba diving and we did kayaking. Hiking. It was really nice. One of the best experiences yeah. of yeah. my life. When you live in a boarding hall you really spend like 24 hours with the girls around you. I think having international students in the school community really expands the whole community's worldview. It's just really cool to meet somebody from a different country. You learn so much about different cultures and it really influences the nature of the school. Some of our grads come back and tell me that when they're in their first year of college, they'll raise their hand and ask all sorts of questions and the teacher will say, yes, I know where you're from. You're from an all-girls secondary school because you're not afraid to speak up. You answer any questions without thinking, wow, is this guy gonna like see me and be like, why come she said that? Being in an all-girls school allows us to like bond together a different way and become more of a sisterhood. 
to have more than 400 sisters has been really amazing for me. And I think that girls here just feel so free to be themselves, try new things, step out of their comfort zones, and they really aren't afraid to speak their mind or to be themselves here. They love to come to school every day. I felt accepted the moment I got here, and the community is just so remarkable. Everyone seems happy. I know that sounds silly, but the girls are happy. like home.